Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Fucking wait till the computer shut off. I would have said, just come back tomorrow, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, well now the world will never we'll know. Never know what I just said. Oh my god, they will never know. Wow, I gotta wait this shit out, dude. I'm fucking. I'm telling you, it. No. Fuck. Look, the actor did not go to Harvard. No. Yes, I know that. In the movie, they were twins. Yes. So, I was thinking this whole time. That the the person it was based off of was the cannibal, like the row team guy. No, this is real life. Okay, so this guy is actually the cannibal. He's only thirty seven. Yeah, and dashingly handsome. Was he fucking eating this girl or what the fuck? Ew. What the fuck is that? She looks like Caitlyn Jenner. She got a lazy eye for sure. She doesn't look bad. Dog, that's fucking Botox up the ass. She, okay, she does not look bad, but... I'm not even going to show the picture on the internet. I will say Army Hammer show. can do better. Maybe she has a really nice personality. Honestly, yeah. Maybe that's, she has, I, that's all I have going for me. She, that's literally all I have going for me. Maybe she has a me. great personality. Literally all I have going or for me. Or maybe the taste of her flesh is better than others. Oh, fuck. I'm such a fucking idiot. God. Whatever. You're the idiot. I'm yeah. literally an idiot. I feel like I'm the idiot at this point. Welcome back, guys. Episode 123. We uh, we didn't talk for like 10 minutes before this episode, like this episode officially started, and we thought we were recording. That never happened. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna shit my brains out. <laughs> but you didn't hear that the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was fucking hilarious. So, anyways, he's bricked up, and he's like, yo. He's bricked I, up, they're sexing. I want to I wanna mark you up with my teeth. I want to bite you. I want to I wanna inflict pain with my mouth on you. And she's like, okay. I mean, just not too hard. And he's like, I, was, he's like, I don't think you get it. Like, I want to take a bite out of you. As an elite-tier actor, this guy's got millions. Not a Harvard athlete. Do you think that he, because, he, I mean. Wait, is he an elite-tier actor? What fucking movies has he been in? Well, that one we were social talking networking. about. Social networking. The social network? That's a, that was a huge movie, dude. That's it? That was a huge movie. I'll but, tell you right now. But the thing is, he's been in Flicka. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Wounds. Never heard of it. No. Social network. Heard that was it. a great movie. Never heard of it. Uh, you know what? He was in Cars 3. That is it. That's it. So that's you have a fucking known cannibal in, in a kid's movie? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's, okay, enough, to that's, be fair, enough, that's enough to tell you that he is elite. To be fair, he's in a shit ton of movies, so he's a millionaire. Yeah, totally millionaire. millionaire. That, that, that's is there any of them about cannibals? Pretty much the point that I was getting at, that he's an uh, elite tier actor. Okay, so he's a mega millionaire. I wouldn't say he's elite tier. I'd say he's a good actor. I would say he's B tier. Thank you. He's B tier. B tier. He's B tier. He ain't but nothing big. what I'm getting at is... Um, he's got a lot of connections. You know what I mean? You think to kind of fulfill his 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 lust for blood, is he buying blood? Kind of like sipping on it like red wine? I'm telling you, bro. I got canceled on Twitter for this shit. I got canceled from my friends, basically. Um, go to fucking China. They sell leg meat there, brother. Human leg meat. He's going there. He's buying it. I'll take his fucking leg. Give it to me. Give me that fucking leg right there. And he's eating it. I bet you he's real picky, though. How it looks? Well, no, I bet you he's real picky of who, what, what it came from, of uh, how skin they died. type, everything. How they died, yeah, everything. Do you think different races taste differently? You know, there's like a Kobe beef, and then there's like the Japanese Wagyu that tastes different. But that tastes different because of how it's prepared. Okay, so like, do you think like anyone in America would taste different from someone mm -hmm. from Japan? Probably. Just take like your average Joe Schmo, yeah. any rando. Because think about it. Think about it. <gasps> what I'm thinking right now is the average American loves the consumption of fast food. What does fast food do to you? 
It breaks your body down ever so slowly. Or rapidly, actually. But when I'm thinking of Japan, it I'm thinking so. of a hot tea drinking, rice eating, fresh fish eating. Man. Brother, you gotta you gotta there, see the street food in Japan. Oh, I brother. know, I bet you it gets insane. But but I would imagine that, that it's fresher, less preserved as shits. I would imagine that they have a healthy much healthier culture. You think they taste better? Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. So anyways, yeah, I think he's going over there to like China where they sell like human meat, like in the black market. Because I've seen someone eat leg on TikTok. Have you seen that? TikTok is allowing this. He he ate it so Person had their leg chopped off for whatever reason, and they just had it hang in there like dry age leg. <laughs> Literally. And <clears throat> the guy's like, You want a piece? And he was like, I don't know. And the guy's like, Try it. And he tried it. He went back two days in a row to get more. He said it was that good. This old man's leg. D- <sighs> dry aged leg. I did see a video. There was this one person who got hit by a bus. Their leg fucking came mm. flying off of their body. It was a train. It was a train. Was it a train? Okay. It was in LA, bro. So their, their leg went flying off their body. This guy goes and picks it up. He, like, runs to a corner, starts yeah. nibbling on it, right? Dude, that was in L.A. But um, what I was going to say was... Um, he must have been hungry. When you're eating this shit, do you think that it can kind of flip a switch in your brain? Totally. And it can kind of make you become, like, a, like a zombie. not addicted, but it'll, 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 it'll change you? Totally. Because, like, isn't there, like, some disease that you get? We talked about it before when I got canceled on Twitter. <laughs> but, it, like, don't you get, like, some sort of disease? I don't know. I I've thought been, you do. I don't know. I've never eaten human flesh. No, but I thought I thought that's what happens. Like, you get the shakes, you know? Mad Max type shit. So even if you... Uh, what if... It, even if it's cooked thoroughly all the way through? Um, couldn't tell you. It's something that our body's not used to it. Because over thousands of years, our bodies have just been more and more used to it. That's like why we don't have the tail anymore. You know? Okay. I, didn't, I wasn't aware that we had a tail at one point. Well, we were monkeys. We had tails. Oh, fair. Yes. So then we slowly over time, it just became smaller and smaller. It was obsolete because we never used it. So slowly over time, we had just become more accustomed to meat. So it wouldn't make us sick. So human meat's like, no one eats that shit. It's like, that's fucking voodoo shit right there. Very. So I was like, only a select few tribes eat fucking human meat. I've been seeing a lot of weird shit recently, like tribes and shit. Like they went to some remote island, and then they were like walking around. The guy was like, oh, come, come. And then there was like a shit ton of them with arrows and shit. They just took off sprinting. Did you see that tribe that was given like Wi-Fi for the very first time in their lives? And they all started watching porn. They all got addicted to porn and gambling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. Dude, but then again, see, I mean... You gotta think about it like this. Even though they're grown adults, their technology was like us when we were like six. Boobs. Girl kiss girl. <laughs> That's the first thing they searched up. Ooh, boobs. Boy kiss boy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, of course you're gonna get addicted to it. Yeah, it's bad. That's terrible. But I mean... Is it, though? <laughs> you can still be a good person. Yeah, because I was talking to a friend of mine, and then he went to, like, the doctor recently. And he was saying, like, yeah, I haven't watched porn in a while, blah, blah, blah. And then the doctor's like, that's really good because I have a lot of patients come in here that are your age, like, 20s to 23, 24. They can't even get hard anymore because they watch so much porn. Yeah, yeah. Like, they watch, they watch so much porn that, like, nothing gets them off anymore. So it's like... Only porn gets them off. Not even like a girl in front of them naked. And then at that point, you or resort to eating human meat. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that you... just comes back to the rich just have everything they want, and they just want something they can't have. Yeah. You know? Like, but, that's why there's so many like rich pedophiles, and they're such fucking pieces of shit. They want something they can't have, but they still have it. What, what do you? What, what is, how does that make no, any sense? No, I mean sense? like... Because they're going to get it. They want something that they're not supposed to have. I guess I could reword that. Yes, yes. So it's not really that that thing that gets them going. It's more like the 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 excitement of doing that thing. The thing. Yeah. It's like you're not supposed to do it, but that's what gets them off. It's like you're not supposed to fuck an elevator, but that twenty seconds, baby. 
Oh, my poppy. Is that what it feels like? Fuck yeah. Really? I've never done it, but I feel oh, like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never done it. I've never done it. I, I feel like it'd be like that. I've never done it. <laughs> or like the Mile High Club. That That's illegal, isn't it? A tor- yes, dude. Is, is it true wanking it on the plane is illegal as well? If you're doing it next to somebody, yes. No, no, no. In the in the restroom? Oh, okay. Is that illegal? Is it illegal to wink <laughs> in an airplane restroom? Bro, <laughs> you can't be that fucking horny that you're going to wink in the restroom. You'd be surprised. I wonder if it feels different, though, because you're so high up. I wonder what it's like fucking in space. Do you think they have the astronauts in the International Space Station fuck? They're like, hey, have sex. See what it's like. No. Well, I bet you they probably did it. Outside of the mission. <laughs> they had a mission of their own. No, but it's like, they're always being watched. So I wonder, it's like, is there zero gravity porn on the internet? I wonder what that's like. I wonder what it's like fucking in space. <laughs> that cum is floating everywhere. <laughs> I know, it's like floating inside her. That'd be nasty. It would never go in, it would just stay there. Be kind of fun. What does it say? Masturbating on an airplane. Is it legal? <laughs> this is Reddit, by the way. So this is just people giving this their... This is the truth. This, yes. It's people just giving their opinions. It's only legal if it's in the cockpit. <laughs> 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 only if you're the pilot. It's just frowned upon. There you go. That's it. That's it. What about fucking in a plane? Just, yeah, that's... Yeah. Are you sure? Come on, dude. Yeah, totally. Why? It's got to be. Why is it illegal? Can you not have sex in a, in a closed door room? Well, technically, <clears throat> anywhere outside of, of, your, of your bedroom is considered the public. Really? Technically. Oh, fuck it. Fuck Which it. is some bullshit, in my opinion. I I'm feel tra- like the Mile High Club is not... Something that I would do. Nah, it's too crammed. Too it's crammed. It's not bad. It's that's like everyone sees who goes to the bathroom, and then it's like well, that guy just got up, and this girl just got up like two seconds <laughs> later, and they went to the same restroom, and then it's like, but she left like three seconds later. Like that's weird. It only lasted three seconds. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. She only lasted three fucking seconds in the restroom. You know. Maybe I edged for a good hour and I was like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And I was already fucking about to come. Yeah, I can never do it. I can never do it. Yeah, no, it's just more of the, for me, it would be more of the, um, it's honestly, like stress. What do you even call that? You wouldn't get a thrill. You would just get fucking anxiety. Yeah, I'd get fucking yeah, totally would. anxiety. Totally dude. would. It's like, oh my God, the fucking, the pilot and shit, we're going to get arrested. <laughs> Pilot's gonna catch us. Um, speaking of pilots, actually, it has nothing to do with pilots. The fucking Olympics, brother. Did you see Australia's breakdancing? Yeah, that's. Is that what the fuck was that? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> they were imitating a dying kangaroo. Dude, that was the worst shit I've ever seen. And then I was like, is this the breakdancing that's all this bad, or is it just her? It was just her. Just her. Just her. That's embarrassing. Why do you why do you send someone out to do that? Because if you've seen America's best dance crew, you will know. Or even just America's Got Talent. Or probably random... just some dude on a cardboard in, in New York. <laughs> you will know that That's ten times better. It's ten times better. More. Do you know that she has a, a PhD in breakdancing? There was a video I just saw of her. A PhD in breakdancing. I didn't yeah. even know that was possible. Uh you see the fucking... All that's, the, that's, you, you see all the degrees people are getting now. That's the equivalent to... I, I just saw a video, too, and it, it actually reminded me what you just said. The PhD a, in breakdancing. I, I have a PhD in this. Why am I a Starbucks barista? It's like, your fucking degree means nothing. It's more than I got, I will tell you that. No, but it's like, what the fuck is that degree in for? I have a degree in table. Table? What is that? Table. And then they wonder why they can't find a job. We'll see either that or McDonald's is asking for a fucking bachelor's degree now. Yeah? Yeah. Really? But what I was going to say, so that P- breakdancing PhD, it reminded me of this video that I saw. So um, 
It was a video of a, of a Marine. They actually just finished up their whole four week grueling training, right, to become martial arts instructors. In the Marines. In the Marines, uh-huh. yes. Four weeks of training to become a martial arts instructor. Okay. And they they have to carry the sandbag with them all wherever they go. And at the end of their training, they finally cut open the sandbag, and inside of the sandbag, it's like their promotion belt uh-huh. that they can finally put on and strip off their old one. But four weeks to do this shit, it's kind of like, and I saw a comment that I said, yeah, you're so fucking right, dude. So that Marine is probably going to go to their local BJJ gym Uh, and get fucked up by some 16 or 17 year old. Yeah. You know, thinking, oh, my four weeks, I'm a fucking badass, whatever. Right. And I'm sure they are in their own right. Uh Uh-huh. But. But they teach them other combat training before that. Yeah, but those four weeks, it's it's kind of like, I don't know, man. It doesn't seem valid. No, but they show them just basic shit. It's not like they're actually showing jujitsu. They're just saying, like, hey, this is how you get in a headlock. This is how you get out of a headlock. That's it. And and I feel like if you're doing that, eventually you're trickling down, and the, the lessons are going to get less and less and less and less. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like I need more context to like how they actually train them. Yeah. See that that I did not. I did not. But I did not have. If you're going based off, he only had four weeks. Totally gonna get fucked up by some twelve year old. Okay, maybe not twelve. My son's been in here for eight years since he was four years old. <laughs> He's a purple belt. Go against the marine. Go against the fucking skinhead, brother. Is it skinheads? What are they called? Cran eaters. Go against the cran eater, son. Leathernecks. They call them leathernecks. Fucking totally beat his ass. I feel like if a 12-year-old was in jiu-jitsu for eight years, he can beat a grown man that doesn't know anything about jiu-jitsu. This man has been... This jiu-jitsu kid has been in there since four years old. Yep. Constantly training, and he's going up against a guy who has the littlest amount of knowledge of jiu-jitsu. A grown man, like a 30-year-old. He's beating his ass. Okay. Now, if we're putting a 12-year-old versus a grown man, I don't know if I'm... I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the grown man on this one. I don't know. You've seen Demetrius Johnson fuck up some big old dudes. Demetrius Johnson is 125. And okay. He's, he's yes. fighting like 250, 60 pound men. But this is a grown man versus a grown man. This is a child versus a grown man. You never know. I'm, I'm going. Uh, I'm going with the grown man on this one. Fate of the universe on the line. Who are you taking to sh- fucking shoot the shot? Shoot what shot? Iguodala. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephen Curry proved it. He got it. He got that position. Now. Dude, did you see that shit? I did see that shit. That man's insane, bro. I think LeBron and KD were wide open, and he still shot in double coverage. And he has a green light to do so. <laughs> it was like, it was like this is probably the only man in the whole world that is actually allowed to do this. Yeah, and <laughs> and, and everyone will still think it's going to go in. It went in. And it and it went in. Brother, they beat those baguette fox. Fucking baguette fox. <laughs> Fucking, you got shit in your goddamn river, getting people sick in the Olympics. Speaking of baguette fox. Those fucking, uh, what are those Australian fucks? Wipe on their toast? Vegemite. Fucking nasty shit. <laughs> what is your problem with us? Have you seen the videos on Instagram or TikTok? No. It's like Australia hates us. It's I think, like I think every country in the world hates maybe, us. Maybe. <laughs> but like they really hate us in the Olympics. They're like, oh, man, you're not first. China should be in first. What the fuck? Like you're stupid. And then it was just like Australia versus America just all talking shit on each other on TikTok. Just back and forth. It was hilarious. But they had, like, a lot of hate for us. It was weird. Most of our hate was just, like, just get better. You guys have 12 medals. Fucking hold that L. So it wasn't even hate. It was just facts. No, for us, yeah, totally. But theirs, like, they really just, oh, you don't deserve this and you don't deserve that. It was weird. But every fucking athlete that came out with the gold medal rightfully deserved it. Rightfully. It's weird that, like, some countries pay money. Some countries don't. What do you mean? Like, if you want a gold medal, you get some sort of money. I think, like, in the U.S., it's, like, 20K, which kind of fucking sucks. That's it? Yeah. But, like, in the Philippines, you get, like, a mansion. You get a pack of noodles for life. You get free food at, like, your local restaurants for life. Uh-huh. The house is paid off for life for a gold medal in the Philippines. For life. Yo, that is lit, actually. That's fucking lit. But how often do you see the Philippines... You don't. Gold medalists. You don't, and that's why this one Filipino guy was going mega viral because he got two of them. In in this year's Olympics. Yeah. Oh, really? In what? I think it was weightlifting. So maybe maybe that's just their incentives to get them there. 
You know what I mean? Oh, well, he could come out. Because, I mean, to be an Olympian, dude, you're training all your life. You're dedicating your life to this shit. You know? Like, look at Michael Phelps, bro. Look at Michael Phelps, bro. But how did, like, you get scouted for the Olympics? How's that shit work? I would imagine that you're just at a point in your career, which I'm thinking is, like, in, in high school, college level, where you're just that much better than everybody else. No one so can dominant. even compete against you. So, like, that 16-year-old I just showed you. Yes. That's a, that's a sophomore. That's a sophomore in high school. And no one against grown men. And no one stood a chance. Like, what the fuck is he doing? No one stood a chance in high school. So, like, as a freshman, at least he beat some sort of high school record. Imagine how demoralizing. Yeah. Imagine how demoralizing it is. You're getting ready to 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 show out at your meet, right? You, your your event's coming up, and you you line up on the line, and you see this fucking guy next to you. This gold medalist. Mm-hmm. And he's two years younger than you. Two years? Say you're a senior. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's... Say you're a senior. Oh, my God, I didn't <laughs> think about that. That's terrifying. Yeah, it's imagine. Like, oh, fuck. He's here? Fuck, This man. motherfucker. Damn it. Don't even try. Like, there was one where this, like, this kid was running, and there was, like, this white guy in second place. He goes... And he goes like to showboat because he's like, what, what? And then he puts his arms open and he just eats shit. <laughs> and then everyone started laughing at him. Like, everyone uh, was fucking hilarious. That's what the fucking guy deserves. It's kind of like that boxer, that Italian boxing chick. All she took was one punch and she was like, I'm done. I'm not well, doing yeah, this. Well, yeah, because, okay, it's... Personally... It's not that it was a man. No, 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 no. no hold on. Just before saying any, any of that, she took one punch. It hurt a little too much and she quit. She doesn't deserve shit. I don't fucking care how long she trained. Okay, so Ryan Garcia? What? He took a body shot, one body shot, and he was done. Okay, but those body shots typically... they Wait, who? Ryan Garcia took that shot? No, Ryan Garcia took a body shot from Tank Davis, and he was like, I'm done. First did, body shot. Did he actually quit? Yeah. Well, what the fuck is he doing? He, he stood back up after like three seconds, and he was like this, and he goes... Oh. And he goes, done. Okay, so that was something that it was, um, he was physically unable to go because it seemed like it, it kind of like liver shot took him out. Yeah. So that girl, she literally felt a punch, was able to still walk, and, and, she, was done. and she said, I can't no more. It, that, but that person did win gold, though. They won gold. They won gold, absolutely. Just imagine, though, Rocky fought Clubber Lang. Okay. How does that Olympic boxing shit work? Because it's like, you're just fighting back to back to back? Oh, that I don't know. That I really... Only a few days rest after getting your ass kicked? Like, how does that shit work? That I wouldn't be able to tell you. But you know? um, I pretty much just want to say that Italian wrestler, I'm sure she's she's a great boxer. But if if she decided to quit off of one punch, 45 seconds into the match... Get the fuck out of here. She didn't even try, didn't even fathom the thought of, hey, Dude, maybe, that's I'll, why maybe I'll stick this round out. Maybe I'll see what's up. That's why that they were on the wrong side of the war too. She, they, uh, they tried to get the easy way out. It didn't happen. No, she no. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve that fucking gold medal. Are you kidding me? Fuck no. You kidding me? Why not? The fuck the Italian? Oh yeah, but she didn't win a medal. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. If she was going for one, if she fucking quit 45 seconds into a fight, hell no. <sighs> So what do you think the women do in boxing now because of this other woman from Albania, I think it was? Uh, Algeria? Algeria. Algeria. Yeah, what, what do you mean? What about her? Well, it's because she has... Train harder. You think? I think, yeah. You think you just beat the fuck out of her? Just train harder, yeah, dude. Is there weight classes? I'm sure there's... Yes, there's 100% weight classes. There is because they have it in wrestling. You saw that Cuban guy won five gold medals in a row in wrestling for his class? What, which Cuban guy is this? Some Cuban wrestler. Some I've never Cuban seen fucking him before. savage, I will say. Never seen him before. And he won five golds in a row, like five Olympics in a row. And then he retired. He retired this one. And they say that's the greatest wrestler in Olympics history. Did he win one this year and retire? Yeah. Savage. So it's like each year he won one for five years in a row. Or five Olympics in a row. Five Olympics in a row, yeah. Because this, this is over a yeah. span of 20 years. Holy fuck. 
fuck. Olympics happen every four years, don't they? Yeah, just uh, that just hit. No way. It couldn't have been, dude. Dude, yeah. No. Yeah, bro. You kidding me? Okay, so this guy, this guy had to train. Let's just say he trained up to his 20s. That's when he got into his first Olympics, right? Oh, my God. So 24, he enters his first. He's he's known as the greatest Olympic wrestler of all time. 28. Uh, you know what? It's possible. Totally. Look, look him up. Look him up. Uh, Cuban five-time Olympian wrestler. Mijain Lopez is retiring at the pinnacle of his career where he's remained for 16 years. So, sing, okay. Lopez has personified greatness in wrestling as he's the only athlete to win five gold medals in five separate games in his event. Wow. What a savage. Yeah, dude. You fucking guy's insane. I'd like to know how to pronounce his name. Is the, Mo- is the Mona Lisa in France? Where's that shit at? The Mona Lisa is... T- t- it's not that good, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> See, but I wonder what people find good about it. But have you seen the that lady that was up there naked? Yeah, I did. I sent you the photo. I did see that. She was over there fucking strip clubbing it up at the in the museum. Yeah, but what the fuck is, like why do so why is it the just the Mona Lisa? Well that's the, the, the most revered painting ever. So but what like why do people go to like deface it and shit? Throw soup at it and shit. You know? Why? I mean, I think that these people, they think something is going to come of that. Like, what was her being naked going to do besides throw her in jail? Have you seen, like, the line just to get a picture of the Mona Lisa? Just to get a picture of it? Can you even take pictures of it? Yeah. With a flash on? That I don't know. Watch, go go to Mona Lisa line. This it's insane. All year round, it's all year round thing. How much do you think it costs? To the painting or like to go see it? The painting. What? Yeah, they they've even, yeah that's insanity. I'm the not painting, waiting in that. Are you the kidding painting me? is is priceless. It's you can't. I'll just fucking print out a painting of it just. Just because NFT. Okay, why is it that it's so famous? Let's look at it. Let's look at the Mona Lisa. Okay, let's look at the Mona Lisa. And let's... I'll look at it myself. Just so I don't have to fucking go over there. Why was she so popular? Look. Look at her. Okay, yeah. It's a, it's a cool painting. It's a cool painting. Okay, when was it made? I feel like all this stuff has to come into effect. All of what stuff? Like when it was made, who she is, where she's at, you know? Like, and, bro, is that an iceberg back there? And also... Is that an iceberg? Uh, it could be a dragon spine. What's down here? This looks like some Lord of the Rings type shit, brother. Really. <laughs> but also, uh, because of the age that they were in, she didn't actually look like this. What are you talking about? People did not look as pristine and porcelain as they they're made out to be in paintings, especially in those those times where they didn't have, um, they didn't have the best cleanliness. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at her, she's got porcelain fucking skin. You're telling me? Yeah, that she looked fucking great. You're telling me that no or she in that day had no acne whatsoever. I call that a cap. I never had acne. And a half. No blemishes, sure. no wrinkles, nothing on this woman's face. Eh. That is from that is from what year did it come out? Uh, fifteen oh three. It dropped fifteen oh three. You kidding me? Leonardo da Vinci, brother. But why is it so famous? Like, what about it? Oh, see, that's literally the only so. Why is it famous? Okay, ready? Mona Lisa considered one of the most famous paintings in the world for many reasons. Its significance. The paintings, soft shading, enigmatic uh, historical importance. None. 
I think if if you if you get all those people that are in that line to see the Mona Lisa, you give them a set of headphones and you play Peace and Security by Death Threat. I think you'll get the same reaction. You think? Yeah, that's a beauty and a half. <laughs> what's the What's the best song on there? We already talked about this. Best song on there? I like Dead Eye Birds. I like Disgrace. I like Outcast. I like them all, baby. They're all good. Okay. I just don't... I think it's because at that time, if you look at art from that time, I bet you didn't like anything close to that. That's why it's so revered. But that goes back to the convo we've had previously about movies. Yeah, all of a fucking sudden, you fucking... You remember everything, huh? So I've said, all of a sudden. I've said this about movies, right? <laughs> so movies, these movies that were made back in the day that are considered like the fucking... The beginning of movies, right? Your your Casablanca, your fucking mm-hmm. all the black and white movies. In reality, they're shit. I, be- I they're good in their own right. Okay. But if you compare them to the stuff now, oh well, yeah, the yeah, acting technology, the acting is significantly better. It looks better. It sounds yeah, better. Yes, yes, all that's true. But I'm saying, you need to compare the art from 1500s. Versus the Mona Lisa, what the fuck it looked like. Mm. They're saying the shading and all that was perfect. And I'm also imagining that um, the circumstances that the painters were in at the time also had something to do with uh, how popular it is. Yeah, and then it's like, how long, like, who discovered it? The art. Who discovered that fucking art? Da Vinci, bro. No, but he made it, but who found it? Hundreds of they probably had like a little art walk in their downtown area <laughs> with other local painters. <laughs> yeah. Just just like reference everything to to like your local scene, you know? Some little gay dude probably walked by it. Oh my god. <laughs> he probably loved it. It's interesting to see like what art is expensive and what's not. Yeah, cuz next thing you know, you see, like, some stupid fucking canvas with a splatter of paint on it goes for thousands and thousands of dollars. And it's called abstract. That's some bullshit is what it is. I can do that shit. Yeah, with my eyes fucking closed. Okay, <laughs> what if, like, I, I came on a page and then just sold it like that? You can sell your semen. And then I call it cum stain. Anything can be art. Art is subjective. It's not. It is. It's not. Art is linear. I don't know what that means. Straight straight and true, brother. You think so? So then why are people fucking calling these splatters of paint on a wall abstract and beautiful okay. and... Get off the topic of art. I got a story for you, brother. I'm done talking about art. Mona Lisa's mid. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah, and she's not worth it, bro. No, not worth it. Okay, hold on. Before we start, what what's the price of Mona Lisa? Someone were to buy her, let's see what the they have it estimated at, and then I'll tell my story. Eight hundred and sixty million dollars. Who owns it? Why the fuck is Jeff Bezos on there? (laughs) Why is he there? This motherfucker bought the Mona Lisa. Could Jeff Bezos buy the Mona Lisa and eat it? What the fuck do those rich people <laughs> eat shit, dude? Eat the fucking Mona Lisa. He's got some magical powers or some shit. He's got that lead paint. How good do you think she would have tasted? <laughs> oh my god. She Army probably would have tasted terrible. Army Hammer tap in. Army Hammer tap in. She terrible. Okay, let's get to your story. Um, Because you tried to hide from hide this story from me. So And you did successfully. I, <laughs> I sent Jose two voice messages the other day. And I instantly deleted them. I was like, well, this is pod talk. Pod talk. And uh, basically, I was at work, and we have usually this one UPS driver, but this whole, like, two weeks has been showing up. I don't know what happened. She quit or whatever. I don't fucking know. But she's been coming there for years. And it's been this one guy, and he's got, like, American traditional tattoos. And I was like, huh. I was like, I wonder. I, like, I, I'm just too scared to ask. Because he's, he's got, like, uh, you know when you take your plugs out, they're kind of droopy? He's got mm-hmm. those two, like, okay. holes. And... Uh, I was like, I'm just too scared to ask. And then he pulled up and he was like, yo, can you help me? And I was like, fuck, I'm busy. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. So I get off my forklift and I start walking over there to go help him unload everything. And I was like, I'm going to grab my phone. Because for some reason, I had the feeling I was going to ask him about hardcore. 
and then he's playing something. And I was like, damn. I was like, I was like, what, what is this, dog? It was that shit I fucking sent you? Was it yeah. really? And I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, bro, what is this? What was that called again? Duka. Duka. I don't Duka? know. I don't know. Duka. Yeah. But he was like, oh yeah, these are my homies. They just fucking dropped this shit. Wow. I was like, oh shit, are they getting any hardcore at all? Because I don't know, I could barely hear it, but I heard it was heavy. I was like, what is that? He's like, oh yeah, I'm in hardcore. He's like, I got homies in Out of Chaos and shit like that. And then uh, he's like, but I'm an old head. So it's like, he's like, you probably don't even know him. But he's like, you know Darsum, like, you know them. And I was like, brother. Are you, are you and I me? fucking I showed him the shirt. Because that uh, the day before we went to that show. Like fucking Superman. Yeah. So, because I have to wear a vest. So like we went to the show. And I was like, oh, fuck, I got to shower. And I said, fuck that, I'm not showering. I'm going to go to work, sweat my ass off anyways, and going to have to shower again. Okay. So I was like, I'm going to get a little extra sleep. I said, fuck it. Raw dog did. And I went in the Darsum shirt. And he was like, oh, yeah. like He's like, you probably don't know him, but like Darsum, like, they're pretty old. And I was like, don't know him, brother. I live him, baby. Yeah, and I was like, he was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? He was like, yeah, he's like, I'm an old head. I was like, oh, you should check out some bands. I showed him like, a bunch of like our bands, like younger bands. He's like, oh yeah, for sure. And he was like, he's like, you know E Town? He's like, I'm trying to go to that show. I was like, oh fuck. Heck yeah. And I was like, dude, I'll be there. And so if I see him, it'd be so dope. That is sick. And he said by name he knows Gabe Ochoa. What a small world, dude. That's literally what I said. What a small world. And then uh he was like, Yeah, he's like, Yeah, Gabe from Darsum, he used to fill in for my band all the time, which I should have asked for his band name. Okay. Should have asked, but I didn't. But they I don't think they play anymore. I'm sure Gabe could fill you in. Well, I asked Gabe. I told him about it. He's like, "Yo, that's fucking sick." He's like, "I'll be, I'll be looking out for a DM just in case like someone tells me the same shit." Because he's like, "I know a lot of this person's name. I have there's a lot of them, so I couldn't tell you exactly who." And I was like, "Ah, oh, for sure." And then uh, can I take a guess on the name? Yeah, James. No, it starts with a C. Charles. No. So Gabe was like, "Yeah, I have no idea who it could be." So my little stalker ass. I didn't send it to Gabe because I was like, oh, that's a little weird. I just went to his followers, searched the guy's name, and found him. But yeah. I was like, oh, this is him. Here you go, found him. Your little stalker ass. It's easy, bro. You can fucking find anybody. Just be like, oh, yeah, I know that this guy follows you. I just don't know his name. Just scroll through your followers. Oh, there he is. Boom, found him. That easy. But since I knew his name, go to his followers, type it in. Yeah, and you think that's weird? A little bit. Why? Because I know how to find people. I found so many people on Instagram. So many. I'm sure those people know how to find people the same exact way. Totally. But yeah, I just thought it was so fucking crazy that... That I had a feeling to take my phone. Because I took a picture of his phone. I was like, what are you playing? He was like this. And I was like, boom. Snap. And, I, and then I showed him some fucking... Some bands like Ruin, Abstain and shit like that. Showed him those bands. He's like, okay, I'll check them out. That's fucking so sick. I've yet to find anybody on the job site who listens to, to hardcore like that. Well, Ricky? No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no, but it was so weird. And I was like, wow. And the fact that he said Darsum off rip. You know? It was like it was meant to be. It was like it was meant to meet this guy. Yeah. And then he's going to that show. Is he going to eat touch? Maybe. I Honestly. We'll see. I, I don't think. Because he made it sound like he don't go to shows anymore. They always say they're going. Because he was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, Tsunami's playing with speed and shit. I'm going to go to that. And I was like. You're an old head dog. You're going to that shit. You're going to go to the, under this local stuff. To be fair, but you don't have to. I'm just being judgy. Very. I'm being judgy. Very. But um, yeah, super small world. He says Darsum. <laughs> I I fucking Superman my shit. Oh, daddy, fuck. He said Darsum. You creamed. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, I talked to him all the That's time. That's fucking killer though. That's badass. Yeah, dude. so random, so sick. And then he shook my hand, and then he left. Out of all the possibilities, out of all the things he could have been listening to, all the things he could have said, he decided to be listening to that yeah. and to say that. Yeah. I let's. I forgot their actual name. It's like Ducka or something. It's like it was meant to be. And then Gabe also posted him on his story. Oh, I'm way too far back. See, look. There he is right there. The UPS uniform. I'm dying. Ducka. How the fuck do you say that? By the way. How do you say if that? If you're listening, homie. Fucking do some grooming on them nails, boy. Hey, holy shit. Scrub them on your palm. Yeah. <laughs> For those that don't know, if you want to clean your nails, you just scrub them in your palm like that. It's super I've easy. Not, I've never known this. I've never known yeah. this. I will be trying. Yes, totally. But we'll be trying. Um, and it feels good. You know what I have to do? I have to shit my brains out. Short episode today, brother. Short episode today, brother. Wow, hey. 
My my stomach is hey, honestly, rumbling. Honestly, it would have been about an hour, but technical I mean, difficulties. Technical difficulties. Shit happens. But uh, anyways, guys, support your scene. Small world. Very, very small, small world. Very small world. But anyways, episode one, two, three. Peace.